Hey everyone, it's Christy with Addicted to Decorating and I'm in my bathroom because I've just spent the last hour and a half prepping my bathtub to be painted. Yes, that's right, I'm going to paint my bathtub. So we'll see how it goes. So anyway, forgive my appearance. This is what I look like after spending an hour and a half cleaning my bathtub. Uh, so basically what I had to do is I followed the directions on the box. I'll show you. This is what I'm using. It's Rust-Oleum tub and tile and there's two little things that you mix together. Um, anyway, so in order to prep, I follow the directions on the box to a T. You start off with using uh, water and bleach to um, clean the tub and then you use Comet on the entire thing just to scrub it down and then you follow up with Oh, what is it called? Oh, Lime Away. You use Lime Away and a scouring pad to clean the whole thing. And then you go over the whole thing again with um, a 600, actually I used a 400 grit um, wet dry sandpaper. So it's quite a process, but I'm a big believer that anytime you paint something, uh, the finish is only going to be as good as the prep work that you do. So I wanted to be sure and follow all the directions to a T and do a really good job and hopefully this will make the paint stick even better. So anyway, here's my bathtub all prepped and ready to go. And unfortunately, my video camera doesn't pick up how yellow my tub looks. Next to the walls, it's um it's really ugly. It's a real my walls are real pretty and bright white well actually they're not bright white they're whiter here you can kind of see it right here see the new paint on the walls is a lot brighter than the tub the tub just looks dingy and old so anyway I have done all the scrubbing and I'm gonna put a fan on it and let it dry for I don't know, maybe an hour. You can see I've wiped the whole thing down with a towel to dry it, but I don't know if you can see like areas like this. It keeps on dripping. So I'm going to wait till it stops dripping and oh, I still have to take my handles off. Anyway, I probably should have done that before I cleaned, but then I don't know how I'd turn the water on to rinse it. So anyway, it'll all work out, I'm sure. And I cannot figure out how to get that drain off. Huh. I don't know. Maybe I'll paint it too. But anyway, so the prep work is done and as soon as it stops dripping and it's completely dry, I'm ready to paint. So I'll keep you informed on how that goes. Okay everyone, I am back with a painted bathtub. Here's my bright white painted bathtub. And I'm very pleased with how it turned out. Um, there are some areas that I'm going to have to go back over. Oh, and just so you know, this is this is the next morning. I painted my bathtub last night, and I had hoped to get a video of it um, immediately after, but the fumes were so bad that there was just no way I wanted to spend an extra second in this bathroom. I mean, it was just so bad. So, let me say, do not even attempt to use this product or to do this project without one of these. I mean, just don't even do it. You, I, I'm sure that that would have some horrible health effects on you. Um, you know, just a horrible headache at the least. It, it, the, I can't even describe how awful the fumes are. Now, of course, with one of these, I didn't smell the fumes. But I will say that the fumes were even still so bad that my eyes were watering. I've never experienced that before with any kind of product. That tells you how strong they are. And I had been warned. Um, you know, the people, the lady at Rust-Oleum who sent me the product said, this stuff is just terrible smelling, so be prepared. So I was prepared. Okay, so anyway, here's what I did is I treated it kind of like a wall or like anything else. Areas like this. I used a brush to do the cutting in, you know, just like you would on a wall. You do that cutting in on the edges with a brush. Uh, edges like that I did with a brush. Um, 
and I use just a two inch um, what a two inch purdy sash brush those are my favorite I use those for everything if I can um, and then I went over it with this um, I personally if you don't have a sprayer this is the second best thing in my opinion I tried to, to use this on as much as I could and I think that it gave it a really nice texture let's see if I can get the texture on the camera yeah I think you can see that I think it's really nice um, anyway what I used I'm tripping over stuff in here but I used that little six and a half inch roller I can't get my camera to focus um, anyway here's the rollers <laughs> honestly I don't know if that's my camera not focusing or my eyes not focusing <laughs> goodness um, anyway I'll just say it says um, smooth to semi smooth surfaces it's Wooster Pro shed resistant um, six and a half inch roller and that's what I used and I just put it in a little thing like that and it worked perfectly works really beautifully if you have a tub or um, even tile you know with that's mostly flat I mean it's just gonna it's gonna turn out really nice if you have these sections like this it may not work as well and let me see if I can get in on this see right there in the corner it's um it's still even going to need more paint this is two coats what you do is you put a coat on and then you wait an hour and then you put another coat on and um, after the first coat it definitely looked pretty rough and it dried really fast in an hour it was dry I mean I could I even uh, could step inside the bathtub with my bare feet and it didn't hurt the paint at all and I even sat on the edge of the tub to paint the far side after the first coat so the paint is incredibly durable and then after about an hour I probably waited actually an hour and a half while I ate dinner um, I came back and did a second coat the first coat took me about an hour and 45 minutes the second coat probably took me an hour and 15 minutes and then the prep work that I did I think took me an hour and 15 minutes so anyway there it is, my painted bathtub. I'm still going to go over and do some little touch-ups on some of those areas that I showed you with a brush. Uh, but for the most part, it's done, and I am very pleased with the outcome.